بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان مبارك So today is day 20 of Ramadan and the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I will be talking about is Al-Haq So Al-Haq means the absolute truth and it comes from the root letters of Ha, Qaf, and Qaf So the meaning of this name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pertains to how He is the one and only God and that we must believe in him alone since not, since anything else is straying off, straying off onto the wrong path. So his very existence is the truth. So highlight the word truth. And we should also believe in what he, in the religion that he provided to us, which is Islam. This is also further elaborated in the Quran in Surah Al-Nuqman, Ayah 30. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ذلك بأن الله هو الحق وأن ما يدعون من دونه الباطل وأن الله هو العلي الكبير هو العلي الكبير. This means that is because Allah alone is the truth and what they invoke besides Him is falsehood and because Allah alone is the Most High all great. So once we sincerely and genuinely believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practice the truth of Islam, we should feel content and peace within knowing that His presence is always there to guide us. He proved His existence to us through many different miracles such as the splitting of the moon and the splitting of the sea. Of the splitting of the sea. He is reliable and someone we can cry to through our du'as and express our joy and enthusiasm through praises. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has only and only spoken the truth to us. This is conveyed through the Qur'an and the Hadith. He gave us these rulings knowing that it will assist us in this dunya and reward us in the akhirah. It is to give us ease in this dunya and keep us on the right path so that we can go to Jannah inshallah in the hereafter. So to add on, when it comes down to everything, he's the one we should turn to as he's not the one who's going to, he's, he's not, he won't ever betray us. We can make dua to him and trust him knowing that he will always assist us here both in the dunya and the hereafter. However, we all know there are times where we question the existence of God or feel like we're losing hope when it comes to difficult times. However, we can connect this to the other names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala such as Al-Muqsid which means the just and the Alim which means the all-knowing. As we often hear, He knows the best for us and He's not going to ever let us go through any hardships that we can't handle. It's about patience and understanding that what happens to us is, to me is meant to test us and teach us different lessons to help us grow into better Muslims and people. Now let's connect this to the month of Ramadan. So we're now nearing the end of Ramadan and going into the last 10 days and nights. And this month was given to us as an opportunity for us to reconnect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and amplify our iman. So when we're going to Tarawih, reading pages of the Quran, doing Asghar, we're allowing ourselves for our hearts to feel serene and at peace. We feel content knowing that Alhamdulillah, we are following the truth and are blessed to be Muslims and we're able to practice our faith knowing that inshallah we can die knowing that we believe in our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practice the truth of Islam. So to sum it up, Al-Haq means the absolute truth and it is a name that lets us know believing in him and the message that the prophets gave to us are our end goal in life. And believing in the message that the prophets have given us uh, is our end goal in life to enter Jannah, inshallah. Let's also, and this is a name that gives us hope and contentment. Let's also use this time to properly uh, bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again and get closer to Him through the ibadah in the last 10 nights, which are approaching. Inshallah, I hope you all have a blessed Ramadan and that all the Muslims around the world do as well. And those who are going through hardships, especially the people of Gaza, receive justice and are given ease. Ameen. Subhanak, jazakallah khairan. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaykas. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.